I got a great gift in the mail yesterday. It was fabulous. A group of artists that I used to work with, um, do projects with, etc., sent me this, which is an art tag book. And I'll talk more about art tags in a minute, but let me talk about these people that did this. Um, Gloria Page wrote a book called uh, Holy Moly Macaroni. Um, and the subtitle is something like How I Went from Six Art Stamps to the Smithsonian. And it's a, a true story about Gloria who um, got some rubber stamps and started a card business. Little by little, she grew to the point that she teaches, she writes, um, she, uh, she works um, at home, and, uh, but she lectures and she does all these things. And her cards are featured in the Smithsonian. And this was within probably 10 years' um, time. Well, anyway, a number of us who um, had heard about Gloria uh, started a group and um, to share ideas and um, just creativity. And I, at the time, I was not using rubber stamps much, but I loved the things that these people were doing. Um, they were they were very creative people, and they used a lot of um, new techniques that I wasn't familiar with. Um, being um, a fine artist, I had never been much exposed to the crafts, although um, I did um, a minor in, in ceramics uh, when I went back to school um, when, when, uh, during my psychology major period. But uh, these, these people were just really creative, and, but they had a Yahoo group. And it, it, um, at the time, uh, after participating with them for a, a number of years, it, um, and getting a number of things published too, so it was a, it was a great, um, uh, great uh, time for me. It was, um, I, I, I was learning a, a lot of new artistic things and just kind of being challenged in a way that I hadn't been for a while. But um, so after a number of things were published, uh, they, and I was thinking more about technology and, and new, new ways to build community, and uh, so my mind was going in, in that kind of direction, blogs and microblogging and those things. And, and they were still with the Yahoo group, which was just taking a tremendous amount of my energy. At the time, I didn't know I had cancer. It was um, 2002, so six years ago. Um, so it was just taking more and more of my time, and, and I said I, I can't um, really participate fully anymore, and uh, I'm just going to have to limit my involvement. Well, a lot of times um, the projects that they have going are just announced on the Yahoo group, and so if, if you're not keeping up with that, then you're kind of out of the loop. So. But I, I kept in touch with a number of them. I didn't do projects, um, maybe one project or two after that. But um, so apparently they got together somehow. Of course, I wouldn't know because I'm not doing the Yahoo group thing anymore. Um, and uh, made this uh, tag book for me. And I'm <laughs> just so appreciative. Uh, they're, they're just wonderful little miniature pieces of art. Um, if you haven't seen art tags before, um, they're held together. When you do an art tag book, they're held together by a ring. And this is just one of those normal rings, you know, that opens up. Uh, an, uh, you can get it at the office supply store, except this one's blue. And they're, um, they're making a lot more interesting colored ones than maybe you and I are used to seeing now. Um, so the art tag can be anything that somebody wants it to be. The first one on top, and I see why they put this one first, because this is just tremendous. Um, as you can see, I hope it has a sheen to it. This is um, uh, embossed um, with embossing powder, uh, stamped and embossed. And the way it works is you pull this little thing down here, and this opens up, and different messages are revealed to you. Just fantastic. I, I appreciate this so much. And then there's a signature here. It, it was just 
I mean, I was just blown away by that. Um, the amount of time that it takes to do something like that. For me, at least. Um, I don't know. I guess if you do it more often. Um, Sandy Buecher, I guess, does it more often, I hope, be, um, because it, that took a huge amount of time. Now, it, or it could be something that's more simple, like this. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing an art tag and you think, well, forget that because I could never do anything like that. This is a, a simple tag. Um, you could use a piece of, um, this, this sticks up a little bit around here. So photograph in here. Um, this sticks up a little bit. It um, has paper taped on. Um, you could use something like a slide mount, and uh, so you've already got it made, and you just stick these um, pieces of paper on. It's a feather. It's a piece of text in the background. It's, it's not painted. Uh, yeah, painted, printed on green paper. Um, and then another piece of text that's cut out and pasted there. And that's from Sue Penrod. It's, it's so lovely. Um, I, I just love the amount of thought that these ladies put into it. Now, if you say, okay, that's still too much for me. There's no way. This is a really simple thing that you probably could do. Here's a piece of twine. Um, like butcher's twine almost. No, not like butcher's twine because it's um, raffia. Or, no, not raffia. You know what I mean. I, I, anyway, it's a piece of cardboard. And then another piece of cardboard was torn so that she could get the corrugated part. And she pasted that on top of it. She pasted her photo. Um, she... Uh, Put the, well, this, this is glued on to the flower, and uh, you could do that. That's from Kim Franz. Um, it doesn't even have to be a, what you think of as a tag shape, like this one, that you buy, or you can cut them. There, there are even die cutters that cut them, so you can cut a whole bunch at the same time. Um, this is from Debbie Meddy, who's a, a friend in Ohio. And, uh, you know, it has a very childlike quality to it. Um, it, it. She printed something out. She pasted it on. Uh, she also pasted this on. And then she used colored pencils and kind of scribbled on it. Very, very cute. And at the bottom here, she has a little, these are little fishies. And they're hanging from just a simple piece of cord. Could be jewelry cord. Um, and then she has on the back her picture from when she was, no, I don't know. This got, it's got to be like second grade or something like that. So, so cute. Um, so, anyway, art tags. You can do all kinds of things. This one has sewing on it. Um, this one is all hand carved rubber, rubber stamps. Stamp it on a piece of paper. Um, paste the piece of paper down. It looks like it's three dimensional if you don't paste it all the way. Have a little bit of um, beads um, sewn on. Um, a little feather. And, uh, you know, th th just gorgeous things. This one is um, just a photo. But a beautiful photo, and it says, Grow Towards the Light. Lovely. Just lovely. And she has her picture and her stamp. That's Melody um, from California. Uh, another one that has uh, a tag in a tag. The tag says, You're it. So you've been tagged if you pull that out. Very creative. Um, but, again, you could do it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a little art tag class uh, it's because my theory is anybody can do an art tag um, and they're wonderful for somebody to get. Um, you can think of them as a card. Um, you can put them together and hold them in your hand. Very special. And um, you can use them as bookmarks. Frame them on the wall. But I like to, to hold them. 
Uh, I have a number of collections of them uh, here in my room, and uh, they're very special. Thank you, ladies um, and gentlemen. There was a guy.